how are you doing? I am Colin and this is Shine Automotive and we are a car project channel on the cheap and we film what we call a week in shine. It's the day-to-day -day life of what we get up to running a garage on the cheap because we're just a cheap garage. I said I wasn't going to waffle and I've started waffling already. We haven't had any content out like regularly like we normally do Wednesday and Sunday because we've had some issues. There's been some family things going on but this video is loads of clips on my phone put together to make a week in shine. We've done another video on the G-Wagon. I've started filming on the XRTT. There's Lewis's rap video that's finally getting finished. We've got a crash damaged Audi A3 that's coming up. We've got a seriously rotten Jeep and we've got another GTO that is mega, mega rotten. So let's crack on with today's episode. Hope everyone's staying all right and videos are coming. They are coming thick and fast over the next couple of weeks. And the XRTT video will be fully back from November because I got it wrong. We've got one more race meeting at the end of this month, which is on the 28th and the 29th of October. Then that's it, racing's over and we are going to be full pushed with getting the XRTT really smashed on. Still need a E30 because we were let down with that again. And we hit a milestone. <sighs> and we hit a milestone. 27,000 subscribers. What the F. Thank you very much for all clicking that subscribe. Cheers. So enjoy today's video. Get it on. What are you laughing at? Jazz right. A deal more. You ain't got nothing on Lewis. Come on, Lewis. Deal more shifty. Woo! This is what I get. The two gingers get together and all they do is bum and chat. They do loads of work. Yeah. So it's into another afternoon and this customer has just bought this car and she doesn't like the headlights because they've been gashly done. Look how gash that is. I'm not even sanding it, I'm not even taped it up. So it's covered in tint spray and I'm currently now wet sanding. I've done the light back. I tried to do it with some thinners, wouldn't work. So I've had to sand it back. We've 1200 wet and dry and now I'm going around all this edge and the side of the car where it's all been over sprayed with some 1500 by our friends in Clinspa. That's not 1500, that's 2000. I'm going round there by with some 2000, but I used 1200 on the lights, which I'm going over with the 2000 now and the areas where all the overspray is to get it off and then polish it. And then she'll be able to see where she's going. They'll be able to see where she is at night instead of that horrible gas job that that's had done. The night before, we're setting off. Rear bumper's going on, Matt's running out of the way. Back bumper's getting fixed. The new back bumper, the front bumper is going on by the ladies. They're doing all the way there. Look at that, look at that. Matt, Matt. James did put a smaller Burton one on this time. I wanted our logo on the back. Thank you, James Shine. Be the more factors. Be the more factors. Be the more factors. Ross the legend. That's what we got. Could have be the more factors. Massively down it next year, look at that. Just pick this car up. My wheel bearing's gone, making a little bit of a noise. Can you hear that? That's me 
put in a little bit of right hand lock on. Lift on lock. Right hand lock. <laughs> Please don't fall off on me. Right, so I'm putting this one in the week in China. Currently, I am on, I am on, I am in the Enduro K at the Premier Inn next to Manchester Airport. Would you believe it? Picking up Nathan Brown that is flying in, flying in to Manchester Airport and we're racing at Alton Park. And the only way to do it was to drive the wagon to Alton Park because he needs some mileage on and then come and get Nathan at Manchester Airport. So th that's what I'm doing. I just thought I'd drop that into the Week in Shine because I know you don't like watching the racing videos, but I thought, I'll tear this one with you because it is quite funny. I'm getting some right daft looks in this. Sadly, we don't get these uh, updates on. Oh, we've had another spin here for the uh, 180 car. I'm not sure where that one is. Shame it's not here. Ah, it is. in a very sick position, actually. Yeah. Lewis has ripped his jeans today and he says he wants some short shorts making but because we're a family channel you're not going to see him take his uh, jeans off you're going to see him with his new short shorts on in a second <laughs> you got some nice pants on there lewis <laughs> he's gonna make the ends all fuzzy as well these are proper short shorts these <laughs> oh my god This is terrible. What? <laughs> right, Lewis, where's your car? Is it over the road? No, it's oh, right. Right, you need to go home now, Lewis. Go? Yeah. I thought my work had just started. <laughs> <this thing. laughs> oh my god. Right, on to the next bit. Yeah. Right. I think I've got some trousers in my car. No, you're, no, going, you're going, going home now, Lewis. You're going to show your mum. No, 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 they use them as like, like you leg warmers. You can use them, them as knee high socks. Yeah, yeah. That's what... <laughs> Which side's this one? Then? Oh my god, what am I filming here? This is, feels that's really, that's really that's uncomfortable. That's that one we were ripping. Alright, yeah, yeah. So you, you need to put them up and run, roll them down then, Lewis. Right, that's it. Now roll them down. <laughs> Turn them up. <laughs> right, stop, stop. Dear. And you're not even being forced into doing this. <laughs> this is the funniest thing going. Right, go on, boots on and you can go home now because it's nearly five o'clock. video is coming soon it looks the dogs we've just got a spoiler and some side skirts to come look at him he's gassing on the phone absolutely oh every time i come down that man is just sat on the phone gassing look at him he's just absolutely gassing sat down chilling out porky belly let's go and see if he can make this thing for me what's this like that. What's this for? That's repaired. Is that for this? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's. I'm trying to start the XRTT this week to do some more on it. 
but Nathan damaged the KA and we're racing in 20 days, so I've got to get that sorted as well. Oh, it's crazy. Don't bend the car, Nathan. So he's bent the car. Not that bad, though. I should be able to do it in two days. So, John, give me a price. Nine grand. Can I have my cardboard back? Can I buy a bit of flat plate off you, please? I'll do it for you. Oh, he's a legend. No, I don't need it done today. I've got this now, so I can go and get on with this. You, you'll get on with your plough, and then let me know when it's done. It's not the end of the world if it's not this way. So, get, get I don't need a haircut. Jonathan, look, bring that, bring that jacket back here. Look, I've got it's, hoodies, t-shirts, and uh, fleeces. All out, eh? All out. Yeah. Check you want out, overalls? Check out the Invisible Merch shop. John's got a merch store coming soon if you need any bits. I might put it on my merch channel and I'll take all the revenue because I've got the design. I love a t-shirt. It's a nice t-shirt, that. Nice t -shirt. Does anyone want one of them t-shirts? Comment down below. Nice hoodie. There's plenty of room in them, look. Yeah, well, he needs plenty, plenty of room. room. Have you got places to put your thumb through? Oh, yes, come on. Look. Give him the thumb. So you don't, your top doesn't look. So your top doesn't come up when, yeah. you're, on, when you're on motorbike. No. No. Right, okay. cheers for that, John. I'm off. Nice, you will look busy, mate. You look busy. His van's all set up, look at this. Everything we need, nuts and bolts. Charging on the go. Charging on the go. Welding on the go. Welding on the go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, bum 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 bum, up she goes. Good that way. 200 amp, look, you want some power, you just how it comes. Got none of this cabling around. Yeah, I've got a cordless extension cable, me. Oh, oh I'm bright! Do it, do it in the dark, welding in the dark. They look familiar, them. Good, aren't they? Yeah. Smash that one, though. I think I've got a couple of them spared. Yeah. yeah, I have. Cheers, John. Thanks, John. I'm liking these different camera angles at the moment. Getting creative. Oh, he's a sexy man. Doing it again, it's on a flyer. This is mental. You lot are crazy. Thank you very much. It just keeps rocking, look at it. Look at that, it's just gone on it. Like absolutely, since like September, around my birthday time, I think we hit like nearly 19,000 subscribers and it's just rocketing. It's nice, what a family we're growing. Welcome, 27,253. Oh what, get on, thank you, thank you. This is mental. Chicken Oriental. Is it gonna go anymore? Is it gonna go anymore? Wowza. Just keep, whoa. Just keeps ticking. Nathan strikes again. We've got to get this done. We're racing. I forgot all about this. We are racing in the last race at Branzach in literally two weeks. Once this race is done, this is getting parked up. I ain't even touching it because I need to be on with that thing under there. We've also just got this traffic in to sell and flip and it needs injectors. If any of you know, if you've got any second hand injectors kicking around, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. It's not in the best of conditions, but it will make a van for someone. If anyone's got any injectors they want to sell us, for one of them, let us know, because that would be mega. We've had this GTO dropped off as well. This is going to have a load of welding done. So we're just getting this ready to go in the garage to check it out as well. And Mercedes Vito van, I think he's going to replace that. It's time to stop using that as a workhorse and think about tidying that right up because they are rocketing up in price and all I'm doing is using it for lugging around, scrap and stuff where that Mercedes would uh, take the job. So that's uh, going to be maybe in a separate video. If you want to see that done up in a separate video, let me know as well. In the comment section down below, we're just about to pull in the Mercedes G-Wagon and do some more work on that. John's coming down, so we're going to try and get the engine mounts mocked up today. So that's another video coming out as well. So we've got loads of bits. I'm halfway through welding up that Jeep as well. Loads of bits going on this week. So I'm trying to get as much content out as possible. 
as possible and I've got one more race to do and then that's it so once that race is out the way which I thought Alton Park was the last one but I got it wrong I'm going to uh, really concentrate over the winter on the XRTT that's my plan because the bathroom's only left to do in the wagon and some plumbing but I'm not going to do that over winter so and it's hot today the sun is out look at the size of spider on my truck look at the size of that bad boy just chilling out just chilling out we've also got the finishing of this transit build when we got this recovery truck back on the road i'm just sorting out getting a roof line in for it because i want to be able to paint the the body touch bits up around the cab get these window tints off because they're all it's all flaking off and they're horrible it's just you're just asking to get pulled it's all ripped off there and it's looking scabby yeah so i think this will be part four or part five we'll get this finished off get it all minted up nice and clean get it looking to a good standard and then she might be for sale because i'm thinking with a mercedes i really just could do with a trailer and a lot of stuff might go i might even do the the transit not the turbo transit but the one that we were getting lewis to do as a recovery truck i've got too much on and i need to focus on the xrtt so the 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 mark 5 transit no the mark 6 transit that um we were planning on doing something wicked with might have to go the channel's not big enough at the moment for us to just be working on projects all the time we've got to knuckle on in the garage and make money because the price of living and everything's just through the roof so i think i need to just say goodbye to some stuff the turbo k is a bit rotten underneath as well so i might whip the engine and sell it i always one kit if anyone was interested in that or just taking it as it is might just have to sadly go but we spent about 1500 quid last time doing all the engine up so it would be good in a road car even just as a 1600 if someone wanted a really good 1600 i don't know i don't know we just have to get rid of some stuff what are you doing lewis lewis we're running out of content we need some content for the week in shine what are you doing this morning I, i'm placing a subframe on a nissan a, a Nish nissan Qashqai subframe finished it new subframe and it might need a bottom arm well, if it needs a bottom arm, it'll have to have a bottom arm, won't it? Maybe after have to ring him up, we'll have a look. Nissan Qashqai. What a surprise. So, yeah, that's nice and new going on. So, if you need something like that doing, don't forget this the uh, email in the first link down below. We could maybe fix your Qashqai. As long as it's not four-wheel drive. No, as long as it's not four-wheel drive, that's a big one. So, what we're going to try and do today is sort out the sales pitch i mean we've had this jag for ages i'm gonna actually get the sills welded up on this shortly and that is up for sale that's a really clean thing that you've seen the last is cleaning up I, I need to see at least 1200 quid for that that is one owner and it's got tons of history and it'll come with 12 months mot there is mot on it till january now but i've put a full year's test on it i put it up for 1900 quid because it is split mint where do you find one like this look at it there's no rust anywhere where they all bleb out here they all bleb out round there they all bleb out round here around here around the filler cap there's a tiniest bit there which is absolutely nothing for one of these it is a very very clean thing they always bleb out around here it's good what are you doing now they come on up the top so yeah we've got a few more we've got a little fiesta in for sale we've got a little kia that um the cam belt snapped on it we put a belt on it it runs like a bag of crap but we're going to put an engine in that because that's really really clean as well caravel in for an exhaust the place is a bit full bit full and all the weeds pulled out aren't we lewis yeah. matt's uh, put some diesel in the jag and now he's put an inline pump in to get the jag running because it's been packed in it's run out of fuel which isn't helping so we're going to get all the weeds pulled out get raked up and start putting the new cars we've got so i'm going to try and keep selection of cars here finally with a little help from the k the jag is now running after a very long time so the jag's off up the top the k is off up for a fresh wash this little fiesta here is getting cleaned up i probably mentioned it this is a little ninety thousand mile little car this will have a full year's mot on it has got mot to january same as the k and then we've got this one that'll have 12 months mot and an engine that we might chuck into another week in china so we need to get a an engine for that so if anyone's got a kia rio 2 engine or has a scrap yard that wants to help us out get us on a video we'll come down and get an engine off you and then this this is my barber's and it's going he's had my mx5 for a week and this has been fixed for ages no he's had my mx5 for like two weeks this has been fixed for a week but i think he's robbed it and then lewis is getting some headlights done whoa transit turbo came 
Lewis is wet flatting these headlights on this Fiesta, that Kia, that Fiesta, and the Jags need doing an R Lewis. So as always, getting the headlights buffed up from our friends at Clings Bar. We're on to the 2000 now. It's always good if you have got nice looking presenting lights, cars well cleaned, you've got more chance of selling them than them looking all miserable and creamy like this Fiesta here. So that'll be a right transformation. You see how horrible they look? That's what we're getting on, 1200 on first, then 2000 and finished off with the machine polish using the polish from Auto Smart, which is the adaptive cut Evo, which starts off really gritty and then works itself down so you don't need different stages of compound. That is Ming Mong. It's a mental day here. We thought we'd get that resealed because that keeps going flat. So that needs chucking on. Lewis is there. Uh, still, still doing headlights. It's still doing headlights. Ebony's done inside that one. Looking fresh. When the weather's a bit warmer, we'll probably shampoo the seats. Might only need the front ones doing on this. No, it wants them all doing. Lewis is still doing seats. Ebony's in the car, hoovering. This is the one that needs an engine, as I said. Look at that lovely car. We've got these lights polished. This is all polished up, ready to go out. This is going out today. So that is done. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely. Just cars everywhere. Hectic. And the boss is somewhere. The boss. The boss is doing some editing, I think. The boss is doing the editing. Are you sick of editing today? So it's nearly the end of the day. So let's have a little sneak peek what you're doing here. That's a good piece of uh, editing right now. One of them days where uh, the days just run away with itself and you can't move in the yard and I need to get the recovery truck out. Lewis is just doing the finishing touches on this little Fiesta that we've sold. Finally got that one down the road. So we're gonna go drop that off and then we've got this other Fiesta all spammed up now. But I'm after 1600 quid of a year's MOT. Nice clean looking car and then this split mint thing. I'll put it up at high. Where do you get one? But you know, motor factors have just landed with some bolts. Tell you what, I am very, very lucky and very, I understand how lucky I am to live where I live. Look at these views, absolutely breathtaking. And then we know somebody who lives in this little village here. Whoa, he's got his gates up. Has he got his post box in yet? Let's have a look. Oh no, he hasn't got his post box in yet. Oh, got his post box in. Look at them walls. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When the jazz right, a dear Mo, you ain't got nothing on Lewis. Go on, Lewis. Dear Mo, shift it. Woo! Yeah! 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 yeah. Oh my oh, god, slaughter. <laughs> oh, your black box. Well, there we go. We've got them lined up. Whoa looking all nice it is a blooming cold day if you're interested in any of the bits that we've got for sale let us know emails in the uh, the first pinned comment and the the description drop a comment down below there's loads of videos coming we've got ryan subaru the part three and part four and part five because we've got some paint work to do on that as well thanks for all your support with the channel those that have watched the channel for years and comment in all the videos i really do appreciate it and welcome to everyone that is new starting to waffle now see you in the next one bye now